And we're back on Patriot League All Access, chatting with all the head women's basketball coaches in the Patriot League as we are on the eve of league play this weekend. And on with us now is the head coach at Bucknell University, Kathy Federaka. Coach, thanks very much for taking a few minutes of your time. And as we head into this uh, opening weekend of league play, uh, obviously uh, kind of an up and down stretch through uh, non-league play to this point. Uh, let's talk just a little bit about how your team has come together so far uh, during the non-league portion and what are some of the positives that you can take out of the, the first 14, 15 games of the season as you get set for Army on Saturday? Sure, James. We, uh, you know, we've certainly had our struggles in terms of uh, win-loss record, but have had a ton of uh, tight games, close games, um, and then we've played some you know, bigger teams that have challenged us. I think we've grown a lot. I think we've learned a lot. I think we've kind of solidified at this point, which you hope to do your rotation. Um, and, and really, no, despite the losses you go through, you learn about yourself, you find your identity, and uh, right now for us it's a new start, a fresh start in terms of taking those lessons, and having a clean slate, some league play, and trying to change you know the things that we weren't doing as well. So I think we actually, again, despite the record, have found out a lot about ourselves, how we need to play to win, and hopefully can translate that now to success in the second half of uh, second half of the year. You do have a much younger team this year, uh, and last year you had a lot of senior leadership provided by players up front, such as Kosi Hayem and Joyce Novacek. And I wanted to ask you, does your approach to coaching change? Because this year you obviously do have a younger lineup, younger players who are uh, playing more minutes, as opposed to last year where you had a little bit more senior leadership. So does your approach to coaching this team change because of the different makeup in terms of the senior leadership? Well, you know, I think every year it does, even regardless of the senior leadership. I think even when you have everyone back, you know, things I've learned is every team is unique and every team takes on its own personality and identity as you move through that year. So I think you've got to be open in this profession um, to really to really change in and, and kind of lead in your team. So um, for me, yes, you know, definitely based on, um, again, the things you mentioned, but also just in general, I think um, – learning to adjust, learning to adapt, and it's, it's a constant, you know, it's kind of an evolution and a constant uh, work in process, so to speak, in any season I've ever coached. So, uh, but guidance, you know, and, and despite only having one senior, we do have a core group of juniors, five juniors, who I think are, are a big, huge part of this team, not only in the production on floor, but in the personality and in our leadership as well, combined with Christina Chacredo. So just been trying to grow those kids into leadership roles and certainly try to navigate the young kids through, you know, bigger roles than maybe some of them are used to or a different level of play than what they're used to. Uh, you mentioned the, the, the clean slate, getting uh, off to basically looking at it as having a 0-0 zero and zero start again when you get underway with league play. What would you say are, are maybe the, the main item or maybe the, the top two things that you really think your, need, your team needs to do well at this point in order to get to a, off to a really good start in league play? You know, as far as overall themes, defensively, we've got to be one of the best teams in the league. We, we just have to be. That's how we're going to have to win based on our defense. We've learned that. So we're going to have to have a tremendous effort coming out of the gates every night. And we've got to be more balanced. You know, it's not like we've been a team here in this early going where we have one or two go-to threats as the primary options. We're going to have to have great balance. And we're going to have to have kids showing up every night, you know, from every spot. That's going to be important on the offensive end. You know, and more specifically, you know, we start off with Army at home. It's a chance any time in the league, I think, home site, you've got to defend your home site. And for us, especially right now, that's a big game. You know, the rotation has changed this year. We start off with Army, a team that in the past we've had success with, but every time you play them, it's a new year. For us, it's more about battling ourselves right now and where we've been and our confidence level. Um, but it's, it's an opportunity, certainly, starting at home, starting with Army. Um, I think we match well to them. Uh, they play a system that, uh, again, plays to our strengths, you know. And, and But, again, we've got to translate that into success. So I think these first couple games, Army at home, certainly most important right now. We're not looking past that. And then Colgate on the road are going to be critical for us as well off the non, non-conference slate. Um, final question for you. Uh, looking back to last year, uh, in this the the head to head with Army, uh, you beat them three times, twice during the regular season, uh, and then once in the tournament. Is there any carryover for, from that? Is there any momentum that carries over into the next season off of a streak like that against one team, or is it basically new season and and there is no momentum? Um, yeah, 
I, you know, I, I think the thing for us is just the confidence um, that we've got versus Army. I don't know if it's so much just the carryover, but just in general off last season, in the last few seasons, for whatever reason, I mean, you know how athletes are and players are, it makes a difference going in. And they just seem to have been a team, and again, we have a ton of respect for them. I don't mean that. It might just be the way we match up to them. Um, they play us hard. The games are not, you know, big margins of victory. We've won close against them, but our team has experienced some success. So I think in that regard, and again, that's nothing taking this game lightly or, or feeling like it's going to happen because of the past, but I just think our kids have experienced some success there better than us going out against some other teams, you know, in terms of how we mentally approach it. I think it's probably the best, one of the best case scenarios we could face right now at home versus Army, you know, in that regard, I guess you could say hopefully we'll see a little turn carryover. Coach Kathy Federaca, the head coach at Bucknell University, is getting set for Army on Saturday in the opener of Patriot League play. Coach, thank you very much for taking the time. Appreciate it on Patriot League All Access, and we'll talk to you again later this season.